All right, so what's up studs and chats coming at you with some gaming news It has been a while right it definitely feels like a year even though it's been like what like four or five days since I made a gaming news video I made it like before yesterday, right? But nonetheless, hopefully you guys are doing good. We got a lot of sauce the streets are sweating y'all They are crying like we got a new addition to the squad as well because last year You know youtubers were complaining about it players were complaining about skill-based matchmaking They're still complaining about it like don't get me wrong But now even the call of duty pro players are complaining a boss skill based match rig and I think this is gonna be real comedy We also got Xbox news PS5 news and really we have good news all around other than like the shortages, right? We're gonna talk about the shortages. We're hearing that it can last till April of 2021 So if you couldn't get a Sony pony console if you couldn't get the Xbox console It is looking pretty hard, right? Let's just get right into it and frankly shout out to every single one of you The support has been absolutely crazy on the channel in the last week if an alpha chat like you is new here I cover all the big gaming news so boom the party kit, subscribe Mardu and our first story is actually pretty hilarious it's actually really good because we're hearing that from this gentleman out here literally shaking oh. I'm shaking because PlayStation sent a disc version instead and you guys can see he did pre-order a boneless version the digital version and ended up getting the bone version the disc version I mean that is massive okay like paying four hundred dollars for a five hundred dollars console I would take that any day okay and we got Corey as well says I got my ps5 boneless edition from Sony direct this morning open it up and found a disc based console inside the box I'm not mad at all I just thought it was crazy either way here's to a new generation and you can see the boxing is for PlayStation 5 bonus edition and he got like a disc version and man let me show you guys some of the content the streets are not this the streets got no chill okay and I think in my opinion this should be a felony okay lock this man behind bars says that I'm not interested in the disc version I would ask for an exchange if that's not possible flip it and reorder a digital bro this got to be comedy man because we have a man from the streets who says that I swear to god the digital only people are <coughs> insane and I'm with you man and look at that bro look at the content look at that content of course we got a couple of people out there saying that hey a ps5 for $400 with, with the disc version that's a big W hey I'm with this guy this guy said that hey defective product and another guy says I mean who are these people bro like I would return it right away if I noticed this being since the digital version was $100 less I didn't want the disc drive to begin with they, they wouldn't give you a hundred dollars difference you would just be returning a 500 item to get your four hundred dollars back and you have to wait for a digital version to be in stock dog I can't this is straight up comedy this is why I love Twitter man this is exactly why I love Twitter and honestly man this is we're in 2020 right so definitely Hide your wives, put your kids to bed, it's like, it is crazy out there, okay? Like, people getting the boneless version or pre-ordering a boneless version, like, the, like, look at this guy, that's some bull squash, I want my 100 euros back, why should I pay more for the same thing? You, you pay less to get more, digital is $100 less, but you get the full... $500 PS5. Ladies and gentlemen, if this is not proved, the IQ is going down the toilet, okay? On the other hand, we got some lighthearted content out here. We have a homeboy out there who actually ordered a Sony Pony console, with, or I should say a Sony Pony controller, and you know what? Uh, he got the upside triangle button at the bottom and did not get the X button. Now, this is absolutely sad, ladies and gentlemen. It's making a ton of noise over on the Reddits as well, and you know what? Like, they, I, I mean, what is happening, dog? Reddit even deleted the post. I just cannot understand what's happening around the streets, ladies and gentlemen. But let's get down to some good news for the the Xbox and PS5 ladies and gentlemen I gotta like show this picture I mean smash a like button for this picture I understand that some of you want to keep the tradition alive and you want to fight over console but let's let's fight over the Ataris right let's fight over the soldier boy console let's fight over the the Google Stadia's okay I'm all about fighting over that but smash a like button for this picture out there it's very rare okay but we're hearing that Xbox CFO suggests that future Bethesda games will come to PS5 but will be better on Xbox or release there first and we have the direct quote which I want to actually go through real quick and I quote what we will do in the long run is we don't have intentions of just pulling all of Bethesda content out of Sony or Nintendo or otherwise but what we want is we want that content in the long run to be either first or better or best or pick your differentiated experiences on our platforms we will want Bethesda content to show up the best as 
on our platforms. Yes, that's not a point about being exclusive. That's not a point about we're being adjusting timing or content or roadmap. But if you think about something like Game Pass, if it shows up best in Game Pass, that's what we want to see. And we want to drive our Game Pass subscriber base through the Bethesda pipeline. So again, I'm not announcing pulling content from platforms one way or the other, but I suspect you will continue to see a shift towards a first or better or best approach on our platforms. And the quote about our platforms here is the Xboxes, the Series S, the Series X, the PC, Game Pass, and it's honestly understandable, right? Like Phil Spencer, Microsoft, I mean, their daddy paid them 7.5 billion, okay? That is paper and that is nothing to fool around with. They definitely did see money coming in like a tsunami. So even then they're like, hey, we're gonna put it like our games first on xbox it's gonna be better which is totally understandable but really man i thought it's gonna be exclusive and i'm still gonna say do not take this as a confirmation like if you're a sony pony out there do not start doing helicopters with your willy and if you're an xbox player who did not want to see these games be on ps5 or on sony pony console don't be sad just yet even though that's gonna be a w for everybody you know i want to see the homies laughing i want to see the homies smiling i want to see like everybody you know doing helicopters but i still won't take this as facts okay smash that like button for schizzle two stats and speaking of cyberpunk gameplay we have some new gameplay and she do be looking like a snack she do be looking like a snack and uh, there will be a little bit of compression in this gameplay because it was put up on reddit but we do have some new gameplay there will be a live stream on november 19 as well i'm gonna be live streaming that i'm gonna be live streaming the whole game on the channel man so what you waiting for man subscribe turn those notifications on i got you guys covered and yo this gameplay looks really really good and uh, the city feels alive as well i mean again she do be looking like a snack she do be looking like a snack so this is a short gameplay that they posted and we also got kiana reeves out here and I, I i really cannot wait for this game now speaking of xbox phil spencer apologizes for xbox series x and s supply shortages and says that the demand is just so high of course we got a full-blown quote out here and the xbox cfo says that frankly gaming is just exploding and microsoft expect xbox series x and s supply shortages to continue until april of 2021 yo that is wild okay i gotta say this real quick in my last news video i did talk about the fact that on like uh on november 20 25th there will be more consoles you will be able to purchase ps5 you will be able to purchase xbox so definitely try and buy your console on november 25th or during black friday if you want the console now if you're cool for waiting that's perfectly fine but understand that there will be shortages till april of 2021 and maybe even beyond right we're still in this runny situation okay but speaking of black ops yo the skill based match weekend is so thick that even face sensor was around the streets okay you gotta understand the face sensor is the same guy who was like yo you need Garcia, you can go pound, son. Yes, man, he really did say no to her for Call of Duties. I mean, we do not know the real situation, right? Uh, they might be arguing behind the scenes. Of course, like, I gotta say that, you know, I do not know, you do not know, we haven't been in Face Sensor's shoes, but all we know here is that Face Sensor did tell her to go pound, son, over Call of Duty, okay? He wasn't getting enough time to play Call of Duty, so he's like, hey, hey you gotta go pound, son, I gotta play me some uh, Call of Duty, right? And he says that skill-based match making in Black Ops is so strong, that not a single pro player on my friend list has a 2kd he shows a photographic evidence man people are saucing in the comments out here and one man from the street says that am i a pro now actually sharing and shoving this screenshot down everybody's throat that hey he got a 2.13 kd ratio i'm like hey how <laughs> is that possible right in 2020 the pro players are pounding sand right and people from the streets i think they are the new pro players like let me just keep a buck 50 but share your expertise like and subscribe i'm gonna keep all of you stud muffins in the loops click on any of the video on the screen you're gonna get a kick of dopamine and i will see you right there